Welcome to Action Tracks, where we're kicking off the premier event for old school motorsports, combining classic monster truck history and new school high flying monster truck action. Behind me, you see the original world champion monster truck USA 1 back on the scene again. Everett's going to be making a special appearance here tonight. Look out because it's all coming up next on Action Tracks. Welcome to Action Tracks. We're at Gordon Park Speedway in Augusta, Georgia, kicking off the old school motorsports event. This is the first show for this new promoter and the star of the show this weekend, Everett Jasmer of USA One fame, back on the national scene. Uh, you, you haven't been just sitting on the shelf for 20 years, but you, you've been doing, staying closer to home. Uh, tell us what you think about this, this new show. This is real exciting. Uh, there's a lot of news behind this. Uh, a lot of the fans don't know about it yet, but a couple of months ago, the gentleman who's putting on these events contacted me and, uh, and is in the process of becoming the new owner of the USA One operation. But it's going to take a couple of years to come to fruition, and in the meantime, he's putting on these events based on old school names, modern trucks. He's building a brand new USA One truck, going to be the best truck out there, challenging everybody. Going to replace this old champion right behind me here. And he's got another Rodney driving, just like I had back in the 80s. So this is ironic. We got, we got a, a two Chandlers involved in the, in the monster truck world, a, a new one and an old one. All due respects to Mr. Bob Chandler, of course. Uh, and we have a, a new Rodney to replacing uh, Rodney Litzow, who was my first champion driver. Chandler's building a, a race truck. Uh, he'll be taking ownership of this one in, in the, the future. And will be the final phase. The, the ownership of the old trucks and old equipment will be the final phase. For now, it is a name and identity and trademarks and all the, all the, the uh, identity part of the business. And once that's complete, then he wants to take ownership of the old equipment too. So that's why I'm going to be doing this with the old equipment for the next couple of years. A lot's going on this weekend in Augusta, Georgia. This man is part of it. We're glad to have him here, but action is coming up right now. Before we do anything, we need to meet the field of trucks. We've got Kid KJ in his Monster Bear Mini Monster, followed by Nancy Weston. It'll be her first time in competition in the Black Knight. Bennett Clark is an old schooler, outlaw Clydesdale. Zach Adams in the Rizlone Defender out of Indiana. Lenny Kilder in the Prowler. Sporting the big cat here tonight, followed by Alan Pizzo in the Predator. Max Fletcher's in his home state in Ballistic. Look for him to be a top competitor. Everett Jasper back on the scene in the USA 1 and the original Bigfoot 1, driven by Jim Kramer. As you can tell already, this is going to be a special show here in Augusta. Let's get into some Friday night highlights. Introductions really kick things off with some special moments. All the monster truck drivers lined up, more or less in salute of the old school trucks. We've got two of the most historic trucks in monster truck here. Bigfoot one, you see it right there, carrying the American flag with Bob Chandler in the bed of the truck, and Everett Jasper's USA One, the original national champion monster truck. Jim Kramer climbing out, saluting the crowd. Lots of history here. We caught up with them earlier. We're here with two of the most historic faces in monster trucks. Bob Chandler to my left and Jim Kramer to my right. A wealth of experience here. We've got a great event going on here tonight. Guys, what do you think of all this going on with, uh, with Old School Motorsports? Oh, I like the idea. I mean, bringing my old truck, Bigfoot One, out and doing a show here, it's neat. Cause nobody knows that truck is 35 years old, but, you know, a lot of people have, have, have seen it, uh, you know, from years ago, and I think it's just a neat thing to do. Now, we, we, we've got two of the most historic monster truck pieces in the industry here. We've got USA One 
and we've got Bigfoot One here. Uh, what's it like to see the old rival here? And uh, you guys seem to be on decent terms. Tell us about the relationship there. Oh, with Everett, Everett's been in USA One. You know, he's been a good friend for, for years. In fact, when I started Monster Trucks, I guess probably five or six years into my running of the trucks, I met him in, in uh, Minnesota, and uh, we hit it off right from that point. In fact, when I did take this job and shove it, they, they were looking for other trucks, and I contacted Everett, and he brought other, a couple other trucks to do the, you know, for that movie. Uh, but uh, he's been a good competitor over the years, and uh, he's kind of been out of the business for the last 20, but he's coming back in now, so I think it would be neat. I'm going to turn to Jim Kramer here. What do you think about this? Well, I think it's great. I'll get back to uh, USA One. It's probably the the most well preserved 1988 racing truck I've ever seen, and ever had the the ability to take that thing and and put it away. Basically, I mean, it's kind of been in storage, do a little bit of displays here and there, and to bring it out here and actually fire it up. He's tuning that truck all day today, so you know he's he's got the bug again. You know, and I mean, he wants to run this thing some more, and I think that's great. You know, to get these old trucks out there, and there's other guys out there have these old trucks. It's time to get them out. And, and get into an atmosphere and, and a situation where they can actually run them and let the people enjoy them. Let the fathers tell their sons, hey, that's the trucks that ran when I was a kid. We just heard from two legends right there, and another legend is on the track. It's Everett Jasmer back in the USA One Monster Truck, the original national champion monster truck. Everett is back in the saddle again. We talked to him earlier. It is eight years ago, a friend of mine came to me with an idea and, and uh, it set me on a new mission, I call it my new mission, and that's do a, using my name and the USA One's reputation, USA One Truck's reputation, to carry a message to this country that this country's in trouble because it's fallen away from its original Christian founding principles. The name of the mission is America Needs the Spirit of Christ. Secondary mission is pray for our troops to protect our freedom. And uh, what we're doing is everything from secular events to Christian events to support our military events as well as events like this. But like I say, getting back two months ago, I got a phone call from Mr. Chandler Lloyd, and uh, it struck me off in a whole new direction. And so for the next couple of years, I'm gonna be helping him reestablish the USA One name and become the new USA One. In the meantime, I'm gonna be doing everything I've done in the past with the old trucks until, the, until everything is completed. And in turn, I'm gonna be helping him with his event uh, as a as an attraction. Everett's found new motivation with his new mission. He's out here crushing cars. We're happy to have him at the old school motorsports show. Now saluting the crowd. The crowd enjoying it in Augusta. But we're going to get on into the wheelie competition. Really, it came down to two trucks on Friday night. Alan Pizzo in his Predator. A nice launch right there. And the second truck. Mac Plecker in Ballistic. A great sideways launch in the Ballistic truck. Coming down for his second hit. Another great leap. That would be enough to capture the wheelie competition victory on Friday night. The top two trucks in wheelie competition ended up being the top two trucks in racing. They paired off on a drag style track. A very old school feel. They were staged up on the line, ready to go. Ballistic versus Predator. Off the line as hard as can be. Predator pulled out to a little bit of an early lead, but Ballistic powered through on the top end. Both trucks out of control on the end of the track. Predator actually hitting the wall a little bit. Taking a look back on our hazard pay camera, a great view of the truck roaring down the track straight at the camera. Oh, what a viewpoint. But Max Flecker in Ballistic taking the racing victory on Friday night, going two for two, heading into freestyle. He's going to try for a clean sweep. Two trucks stood above the rest in freestyle. Prowler versus Ballistic. Lenny Kilder in the Prowler truck attacking the track, getting some big air, carrying some great momentum. Really turning on the Friday night crowd. But it was going to be Max Flecker in Ballistic sweeping the competition on Friday night with just outstanding momentum, some great wheelies, some good hits all around out there. Max Flecker really capturing the crowd as the crowd spoke and gave the freestyle victory to the home state guy in reward for an outstanding run in front of the Augusta, Georgia crowd. Mac 
out on the track showing the most variation we saw all night long, getting the biggest air and just trying to mix things up as much as possible. A nice slap really right there as we're talking about the diversity of his run. Looks like he's gonna, is he gonna whip it into a donut? Yeah, a nice donut really capping off his freestyle run earning him the victory here on the first night in Augusta, sweeping all three events. Now Saturday, we had a lot of teams really thrashing on the trucks. Virtually every racing team was working away all day long on various aspects of their truck. Bennett Clark and Mac Plecker working all day on the shock setup on the Outlaw Clydesdale. Black Knight, the entire rear half of the truck torn apart, putting that back together. We had the old school trucks on display. We had a special opportunity on Saturday afternoon. We rode along in the original monster truck, Bigfoot One, and we're gonna take you along on the ride. We hope you enjoy. So much history right there. Riding in Bigfoot One, it was a great time. Much appreciation to Jim Kramer, Bob Chandler, and everyone at Bigfoot 4x4. We'll be back with more action in just a moment. 